um, this one, just figuring out what's being asked of you um, may be kind of complicated. Uh, I hope that uh, you're okay with which number, problems like number, hmm, I guess we don't have any on this test. Um, there's some problems that we've done in class so far that have been find the line that cuts the areas in half. But here what we're doing is we are revolving this thing around the axis. We're going to get a cone-shaped thing like this that's been revolved around the x-axis and they want to know where should I draw this line in this three-dimensional cone such that the volume left of that line is the same as the volume right of that line. So, um, the first thing that I'm going to do is find the volume of that region um, before, or of the full region, and then I'm going to divide it by two. So, um, I take uh, pi, I'm going to do dx, uh, so I'm going to do slices in this direction so that I can do washer method. So my volume is going to be blink, 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 blink. V, v is going to be pi times the integral of r squared dx. So my radius is just this length right here which is the 3 over 2x. So I get uh, pi integral 3 over 2x squared dx, which is going to give me, um, oh, and then I didn't do my bounds, so I'm going, you can barely see it anymore, but I'm just going to start at 0 and go out to this spot. So I'm going to go out to x equals 2. So I'm going to go 0, 0 to 2, which is going to give me, when I simplify this, the the um, and I'll just write it pi times uh, I get uh, integral uh, pi times man oh man I get nine fourths pi nine comes from this squared four comes from this squared pi came from out here already and then I take the numbers the coefficients and I move them out front because it's an integral and I'm allowed to do that. So I'm going from 0 to 2. That gives me um, to it up here. That gives me uh, 9 pi over 4 times 1 third x cubed evaluated from 0 to 2 which is going to evaluate out to uh, 3 pi over 4. I canceled this with this and was left with a 3. Um, times 2 cubed, plug in 2 there. Um, and then when I do the minus 0, it goes away, which is going to simplify out to be 6 pi, which is nice. So, let's think about where we're at here. 6 pi is the volume of this thing. They say divides the region R, divide the region R into two regions such that when they are revolved around the x-axis, the resulting solids have equal volume. So I want to figure out where this dotted red line goes to make it so that this volume is 3 pi and that this volume is 3 pi. And I get that because I got half a 6 pi. So I'm going to go and um, use this line right here. I am going to take 3 pi and set it equal to 9 pi over 4 times the integral from 0 to k of x squared dx. So I'm changing that 2 over to a k and I just want to figure out what that k value is it makes it so that this integral becomes 2 pi. Before this was the unknown, now I know that that wants to be 3 pi. So let's cancel some things here. Pi's cancel to start. Um, I can divide by not get the 9 and the 3. Actually, I won't do that. So I'm going to go, whoop, whoop. 
Um, multiply by 4 and divide by 9, so I get 3 times 4 over 9 equals the integral of x squared dx from 0 to k. Notice here the 3 cancels with the 9 a little bit, and this, this goes down to be a 3. So my next line is going to be, uh, I'm going to have 4 thirds on the left. And then let me do my integration. So x squared integrates to um, x cubed over 3 evaluated from 0 to k. Well, you should see that these, I can multiply by 3 on both sides, right? So, um, and then when I plug in my k, so I get 4 equals k cubed minus 0 cubed, which gives me that, um, almost done, 4 equals k cubed. Remember, I'm looking for this k value, so now I just cube root both sides k equals cubed root of 4. Not too bad.